Hello there, the Fable Harpooner here, ready for another Oregon hunt. Weapon class this time is the hammer, and the weapon of choice is the bull hammer, or the upgrade to it, to be more precise. Now, because the upgrade, as you're going to see in just a few moments, is a bit lacking in sharpness. Upgrade our current ball hammer into the ball head hammer. We do increase in raw damage, which is okay. Its sharpness as green starts out green, but it's really lacking. And that's why I'm back to the Roggy arm set. Anyway, on top of that, we do have a, sl a slot that I am actually going to use. So, let's get it. Next upgrade is high rank because of the King Scarabs. Now, I'm probably lacking, if I remember correctly, Speed Jewel. With all that set, I should have. Okay, shake it like I want. Let's go for the third page. Got team player, Speed Gather thanks to the Talisman plus the one slot in the hammer. Sharpener, which I'm gonna need. Sharpness, which I'm gonna need. And poison, which I'd have no use for here. So yes, because of that small sliver of sharpness, the hammer's going to degrade quite fast. We have a razor sharp or sharpness, which allows it to last longer, and I can sharpen in one swipe, which is nice. Now I could have gone for, if I wanted to, if I had other options. I guess fire start is good enough. For the Vodianoi hammer with the Lordrod armor set once again, boost the water damage even higher. It's a good option to use against the uh, Agnacto as well. Or maybe the Jupiter hammer with the Rathalos armor set for pure, pure raw damaging hammer. Denizen of the Molten Deep. But since this is one of the two hammers I haven't used, or has been available to upgrade and haven't upgraded yet, I need to try them out. Sometimes I will pick the ideal weapons for the monster, other times not so much. This time around I will be needing cool drinks, as I don't have any form of heat resistance. But first, bucks. Hunting for those egg drops. Which are really are scarce around this area. Now I could go to four from here, but then I wouldn't know if this well, let's go to 4 anyway. And from 4 I can immediately go to 7. That's faster than going all the way through 5. But I don't check 5 for Rush Yard Rocks. Not when it's just popping out. Let's get the cool drink. And we paint ball. Ooh, nearly missed. Yeah, I guess I could go in the same manner. Oh, too late with the roll. As I did with the sword and shield to go for the claws first. I am not sure if that even counted as a hit. It sounded like it did. Oh, tremor. I might be using one of the Volvidon arm sets or the Diablos against this guy, depending on the armor. The, on the weapon they're going to be using. Oh, I'm holding to the spell. Those spells.
All these creatures popping out of the ground. Ooh, boy. I wasn't sure I was indecisive. I wanted to see if I could hit the head a few more times before I rolled. Nice few hits to the legs. How did the golf swing miss completely there? Okay, this seems to be a hardened body part. I need to pay attention. Put the hammer. Really need to listen carefully to notice what's popping out. Okay, here yeah, I can. What the? Good Chacha managed to flinch it and rage it as it was doing the beam attack. It's a shame because I could have super bound that. Keep missing because of that movement. Well, let's got that frame in. Whoa. We got right there. Okay, and bouncing. Oh, right, yellow sharpness. Didn't notice that. That's such a waste. Because Super handed that head. Well, at least we have this. Exhaustion should come out relatively soon. Oh yes, you don't want to be in yellow sharpness fighting this guy, since you will be bent. Maybe not from the body, but certainly from the rest of the body parts. Hard to hit that creature. How did that not flung me into the air? I have no idea. Pen sharpness is gone again. Okay, can still hit the body with yellow sharpness. Gulf swing doesn't seem to bounce. That regular swing will bounce from hitting the claws. Oops, didn't think I was that close. Oh, nice, it's exhausted. Ah, missed time to roll. And a lot of those swings missed. Oh well. Okay, let's go to five. He's probably going to eat. Might as well eat myself. The Russian. Any rocks of interest? Not for the time being. Okay, I'm going to keep going for the head out, Philippe. Well, didn't knock out it, but at least got a break on the beak. Now I'm guessing in a team fight, we should still continue aiming for the head for the most part. To at least get a knockout.
Oh, there's Rhinopolis. Well, the exhaustion didn't last for too long, so we need to rage again. You nearly got too close to that town. Okay, so I was wondering was I was bouncing and what's starting to cool down. Super pounds will get through the bouncing. Even though you still do reduce damage. I don't know. I'd like to get my downswing to hit more often. Ow. Man, this hits wide. What the? Okay, that might put me in a... No, it didn't. Oh boy, don't do stupid things. Oh, goodness. That could have knocked me out. I'm going to... Heal right here. Okay, we've got another break. That's a back break. Oh, it breaks everywhere. Break Skelor. So we've got a fin break, which is the main body. I think there's a claw break somewhere. And a chest break and a rolled out. I hate rolling out this way because you have to climb back up. It's not like other areas that you can just walk back in. Now you have to do a bit more effort. Yes, I could have sharpened. Why am I at it? Especially if I'm going to be. That's another claw gone. The two front ones. And one of the back ones. Stop moving. Don't. Nice. That caused a flinch. I need to sharpen. Can't be bouncing like that from the just a claw. Oh, and it's cooled down. Great. Needs to pick a target. Nice. Not what I really wanted. Oh boy, that's stamina and I'm gonna get lucky. Okay, I can go for that back claw again. I should be able to reach it. Maybe I didn't really reach it, I'm not sure what hit there. What body part connected there really? And it's moved out to eight. No particular rocks I fancy here, so let's move on. How's the quest time? Oh, one to ten minutes. Four drinks, one off. And there's cats everywhere. I need to go for that. Nice. I only required one good swipe. Now, nah. nah, let's ignore that last that piece of uh, armor on the tail. I'm not going to be carrying it off. And I don't believe there's any reward for breaking that arm off. Oh, I hate missing like that. Like, they move the head away just in time. face this way? No, guess not. I'll attack anyway.
Well, it's him, Ben. Well, at least I've got a golf swing on the tail. Not the best use of golf swings, but still damage. Let's finish off the last Russian. Well, not the last one. How about to be. So it bothers them having to deal with a fleeing stamina drain. So it goes much faster. It drains much faster than normal dashing. And you don't particularly get an extra speed boost. What I've noticed. Could have waited for it to come to sleep. Oh, I keep forgetting that I need to adapt. They can aim towards where you're going, not where you are. a good opportunity to just smash it unless the rock to decide to pop out once you get enough golf swing ready oh we even broke the back thing tail armor or lava coating if you like and there's the kill quest time Actually not bad, before the 15th minute mark. With a not too powerful hammer. Raw wise it's quite powerful, although I believe to the Jupiter hunt. Ugh, rock door. The Jupiter's hammer is much more powerful. It's 728 and the Jupiter is about 780, I believe. Could have checked before departing, but I think I seem to remember that that was the amount. The real downside to have this hammer is that low sharpness. So you pretty much are stuck with armors like the Roggy that can uh, negate that issue. Nothing real, really worth warming up. Let's get rid of the map. Did I click that, that on time? Doesn't matter. Oh, Dragon Eye, oh, it's quite valuable at this stage. Okay, nice amount of rewards. Got plenty of Firestones, called Implora. Love Nuggets. Thought they were exclusive to the... Uh, uh, what, what again? Scale, Shell, Toadstools, Dragon ones. Firestone and the brakes again, all four. Then a couple of scale brakes and a shell. Not bad. So, this has been the Fabled Arpuna hunting an Aknaktor with a hammer weapon class and a ball head hammer as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.